Welcome guys to this video to Express. Let's talk about the complete guide of your TikTok ads a or Shopify. So you don't have to worry if you don't have a Shopify store, you don't have to worry if you don't have any kind of store. This is going to be helping you. Uh, like, let's say this is just like a walkthrough of how you can get started with your TikTok ads. And this is for me like the best answers that I can give you into the YouTube in 2023. So to get started, I love to only wanted to talk about one product. One product is going to be helping us to drive through a lot of sales into TikTok ads. Trust you guys that this is the best solution you can get started with. Focused into only one but one product. So if you have an online store and you have a lot of products, I wanted to talk about only the best solution for one product. So I'm going to choose a phone water stand up paddle band that I have here available. So as you can see, here is my product, here is my media, here is all the elements that I'm going to be using for the actual solution. So if you have more than images, if you have videos, this is like the best thing you can do. But if you don't, if you're making some drop shipping, maybe you can try to find something, some videos from other users that can be helping you to find, let's say, great content, people who are generating content for your actual product, so they can be more incentivized to buy this product into TikTok. We can be talking about a lot of considerations, composons, awareness, um, marketing, research, audience targeting. But if you don't have a good product and a good video to show up into TikTok, then this is actually not going to work for you. For example, take a look into this video that comes from TikTok. This is not the best video I've seen about snowboarding, but this can be helpful for getting started with an actual ad of TikTok. So once you find a video that can be helping you to drive more sales, I can totally suggest you to create your own, but that will be up to you. Assuming our client gave us this video to get started with some TikTok ads, we're going to be using this video. So I close this, I go back into my TikTok ads, and now that I have all the tools to get started, let's just focus into your actual TikTok ads. If you haven't created your account into TikTok ads manager, you can always go into the business of TikTok, create your account, and then later on you can go into the ads tiktok.com and just import all your business information so you can get started right away and the best part is totally for free so the very first thing you want to do is to go into the upper side it says campaigns i have the advertising adjustment and i have create new now i'm going to create new what i want to do is to get started with some website conversions. I wanted to check it out some valuable actions on my actual website. I want to know when people clicked into the link of my video, go directly into my store and automatically choose whatever product I am selling here into my actual store. But as we were talking before, we wanted to focus into just one product, remember? So this is why I loved to use website composants. If you wanted to use the one that says traffic, uh, video views, community interactions, you're totally uh, optional. But I do love to use website composants since this one is actually working a little bit more. So if I enable this mod performance campaign, this can be helping us to optimize our campaign a little bit more. So into the campaign name, just to make sure that I recognize this into the future, I want to go with snowboarding uh, Shopify and the name of your product, which in my case is SB123. I'm going to hit now into continue. Now we wanted to focus into a specific website, right? So here I can choose to add my text or pixel for Shopify, or I can get started with a new one. A TikTok pixel is going to be helping us to see what happens from a website into an actual composition and what people do in inside our actual website. I don't need people to comment into my product or to download out this product. I just want them to share my video. Really important. Now the audience targeting is going to be helping us to reach people who are most likely to click into our ads. So that's the reason why I wanted to change the location. The languages should be only English in this case. The budget is going to be helping us to figure out how much money we're going to spend daily. Start time at the end of the ad group. I wanted to choose composition of course, the lowest cost, impression and standard. You want to leave this just like that. Trust me, this is like the best thing you can do so far with ads. 
Now Spark Ads is going to be, let's say, creating like a fake account that you can start let's say for example this is called text express instead of having my custom private tiktok account i have a new one how it is supposed to be after that i just add my video of my client which is this one i uh, hit into upload and here you have a preview of how it should be looking your product lastly your ad destination inside this destination since we are promoting only one product i want people to only focus into this product we were actually doing which is this one so i copy and paste this if i hit into preview i just want to make sure that this actual link is working this is how we can get started with your very first tech talk ads for your Shopify. The last thing you need to do is to hit into submit and your product should be now getting ready to start with your first optimization of your product. Lastly, before we go, I can suggest you, totally suggest you that you have nothing greater than one or two million available audience. So the more smaller your audience is, the better because you can have something more specific and more chances to drive some sales. Really, really, suggested after you wait one week or maybe two weeks you can go directly into your analytics and figure it out how much our people actually are interacting with your actual product the rich audience the potential audience the country the gender and then later on you can make some changes after you have let your ads run for at least two weeks so with that being said i think we're not cover the basics of how we can get started with some tech talk ads so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great toes of your tech talk for shopify thank you once again for watching the video and well hopefully i can see you next time